Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Just Rolled In. On today's episode, we'll be showing some mechanic fails that happen in the workplace and showing some questionable work that was actually done by other shops. That's exactly what happened. This mechanic did not tighten the spring compressor tight enough when he was removing the strut. Fortunately, nobody in the shop was injured. And this dealership decided to switch to a Fram Universal coolant instead of using OEM antifreeze to cut costs. But it ended up causing a lot of issues for them and plugging up coolant systems on multiple customers' vehicles as they were not compatible. Trying to see what he just whacked his head off of. <laughs> His co-workers said he was fortunately okay and just took a little longer of a lunch break that day. Brand new E450 motorhome. Customer states intermittently the instrument cluster will go blank. The other shop who installed an aftermarket head unit with 360 degree cameras had spliced the cameras into the factory radio harness. And the same network as the instrument cluster causing a ton of electrical issues on this customer's fairly new motorhome. Customer states 4x4 does not work. The mechanics of the vehicle is not equipped with four-wheel drive. Someone has added four-wheel drive badges to the vehicle and installed a four-wheel drive mode switch into the dash. The vehicle has a salvage title and the fourth digit in the VIN is a C, indicating a two-wheel drive model. The customer had went back to the dealership he just purchased the truck from as he thought it was four-wheel drive. Got a Ford Transit. Customer states car caught on fire, please advise. So they burn through the whole seat. There is a big metal brace that goes across these transits. And if you look closely, negative and positive. That's what started your fire, my guy. A quick tip, don't weld on something you just sprayed brake clean on while welding beside a can of brake clean on top of a garbage can. Dead. This customer brought in their vehicle as they said they had another shop replace the rack and pinion, but it still leaks. The customer showed the receipts to this mechanic and he found that it was never replaced, and they just tried to fix this leak in line, but it still leaks. And this customer brought in their vehicle as they had another shop replace the alternator and still not charging. The old shop said to take it to another shop as they were not sure of the issue and charged the customer for a new alternator. But all along, they only had spray painted the old alternator instead of replacing it. This customer came in for an unrelated issue, but the technician found that the previous technician who worked on it left this battery maintainer in the engine bay for the past two months. Fortunately, the person walking by dodged the ram, and the technician said the pen fell down on the left arm. The person who shared this clip said the apprentice was using the transmission service machine and connected it to the shop air hose and sent 150 psi through the transmission, which resulted in this blown up transmission pan. The technician said his shop installed a new transmission pan and oxygen sensor as it was covered in transmission fluid. Customer states it smells awful in his truck. The customer had just recently purchased this vehicle and had their dealership install a cover on the bed. And the technician who installed it not only drove through the bed but also the body and ran the drain hose for the cover straight into the cab of the truck. Customer states they had another shop install a used engine and now there's multiple warning lights and the vehicle runs rough. The other shop swapped the used engine harness with the original harness, but the issue was still there. This technician found a corroded connector in the battery harness to the transmission electric oil pump that was causing all the issues this whole time. This apprentice forgot to position the drain tray before draining the hydraulic tank on this underground loader. 2001 Chevrolet Suburban. Customers from Florida was driving around up here, heard a loud pop, and lost all power to the vehicle. Um, I couldn't move it in the shop. I tried to put it in four wheel drive. I was thinking maybe a locked up wheel, but actually, upon further inspection, I found that someone had serviced this rear end, did not put the drain plug back in it, or the top bolts on the cover for the diff. So it's been spraying all of its fluid everywhere. And what eventually ended up happening was the pinion, you kind of see it in there, uh, blew up.
This customer had their vehicle at three other shops that could not figure out why the engine had a misfire. One shop charged a customer to replace the PCM, and another shop charged her to replace all the oxygen sensors. The technician found that somebody had left the adapter for the compression tester in the spark plug hole, which caused the misfire. This poor customer is on its uh, third oil pan reseal. So another shop resealed the oil pan twice, and on the third time, they charged the customer for a brand new oil pan and a reseal, and it still leaks oil. So this vehicle also had a brand new timing belt kit put in it uh, around the same time. And what I suspect happened is they tried to pry off the harmonic balancer, which should come off by hand on these Honda 3.5s, and I believe they broke the oil pump, possibly cracked the oil pan as well, and ended up charging the customer for an oil pan. When another mechanic backed out this vehicle from the shop, he couldn't figure out why it had shut off on him. This mechanic had a good laugh when he found that he forgot to remove the exhaust hose from the exhaust. This mechanic was trying to remove a glow plug that was broken off inside the cylinder hood on the Steermax diesel engine, but he was having issues trying to remove it and the customer needed his truck back the next day. So the mechanic started the truck up to see if the compression would blow it out, which it did. It's a wall. Right next to that. This time, it was another shop who actually drained the differential fluid on this customer's vehicle, instead of the transmission fluid when he brought it in for a transmission service. The technician said the differential surprisingly lasted two weeks with barely any fluid in it. Customer states when braking, the car pulls to the right. The customer just had these new brakes and calipers installed at his local dealership, and just did a 26-hour road trip with no bolts holding the brake caliper. This customer just had a used transmission installed at another local shop. The transmission was overfilled by 5 quarts and only lasted one week. The shop denied to cover it under their 2 month warranty and did not give the customer his money back. Another local shop just installed a sunroof on this customer's vehicle and did not add any hardener in the body filler and didn't sand much of the paint before applying the filler. And this car was brought in as the customer was told by another shop down the street. They need a new transmission and gave the customer a quote. The customer came to this shop for a second opinion and they found that the customer's car just needed a new CV axle. The technician working on this truck was lowering it down while he was on his phone and forgot about the screw jack at the rear of the vehicle. Long story short, the cylinders on his car was full of oil due to a blown turbo. The mechanic removed the glow plugs and put a towel over the engine to keep what he thought was a little oil from flying around when he cranked over the engine, but he painted a few cars in the process. The person who shared this clip said this is not the proper way to set up a car on this lift, and the left arms don't have locks on them as it's pretty old. He also mentioned that the technician was okay, but he went to get checked out and screened, as the hood hit him on the back of the hood. You gotta be careful uh, where you get your vehicle serviced. I forgot to tighten the lug nuts in the rear. It's on the other side too back wheels just fell off in front of me. So my parents' car just came from the mechanic and I think... They might have gotten some wires crossed. If you're a mechanic, you've probably done this more than once. The best ratchet <laughs> catch ever. <laughs> I'm stuffed. <laughs> uh, you can't get to the knob to... Can you get it through there and turn it? Through the thread? I hope you enjoyed this video and please consider leaving a like or subscribing if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.